Hello, it's me again, Dawn. I am here to continue on with that creation of your direct site, but for now, we are going to continue if you have your own site and wish just to connect it to Hospital. How would I do it? You start with a self-hosted site. So to do that, you'll click Add My Site under Self-Hosted Site, like so. And you'll be taken to this page. You would be asked to identify the properties that you wish to include. This one is great because, again, I am on direct premium and anything that is not within the U.S. is not eligible to be included on the site itself. But in order for me to continue, I'll just select that. And there would be these widgets that you would need to include on your actual site. If you have a web builder or um, if you're doing it on your own, you may need to put it on a block to actually add these code and have it populate on the actual site. To do that or to styling, by the way, before we continue and show you some examples, the styling can be edited here based on the color here. Just like our widget earlier, you can see the buttons, color are changing depending on the type that you have. So depending on your actual current color, you can do that and have it edited. Now, another thing I think we now have custom here. So it's up to you to design it. You can change your color. Um, I don't know any numbers. Let's say 3296. <laughs> there. And then I'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I do 7, 8, 9, 0. 7, 8, 9. There you go. So I made a custom color. It's up to you. You know your numbers. I don't know them much. You can check Google to identify them so that it would match whatever brand colors you have on your actual site. Next thing we have is a property search. This can be enabled or disabled on your site, depending on if you want it. To add this in, you would just click on the steps and Follow them and add the scripts to your site. I'll show you some examples because I don't have a site builder of my own. These property pages, these websites are from some of our hosts, which I'll just be showing in order for us to show you how they add the property search um, and our hospitable widget calendar on their sites. So here's the first example. This one that we have, do not use a multi-property search option. They only have this on their site, and you can see several book now buttons. If I click on one, it takes me to their property page that they created. You are required to have a property page for each and every property that you have. If you have 25, you need 25 property pages because each of them would be required to be added these widgets. So this is our hospitable widget added on their site. The way it works is the same exact way as how it does on a hospitable site. Since they do not have a multi-property search option or button on this site, then a guest would have to go through the book now and select their dates manually to get to it so that they can read more of the details that are listed here. Next, we have here another example. This site uses the multi-property search, but they disable the locations by just removing the locations. As you can see, the check-in and check-out information are here. And I will select date and search. You control whatever you want to input on the um, header and footer, but the search page should be blank when you add in the code from your property search. Create a search result page here. And when I click on one, like so, 
it would take me to the property page, just like how it does on a hospitable site, and take me to Weird Edits. I think they customize their colors. And here, it works the same way. They added their details and one thing that we do not support on our hospitable site is like this. They added a WhatsApp button that allows the user to contact a host. So if you want to have something like that, a self-hosted site may be something you'd want or other platform bookings in that case. Another example is this one. They also do not have a multi-property search added in here. This is really cool. I don't know how to do it. As a developer, you probably know how to do it, or maybe you can search on how to do it on your actual um, site builder. But clicking on it, they would take it to the property page, which again, we require. These are their buttons. And when we click book now in here, this is what will show here. And instead, they have their widget as a pop up. Again, I'm not sure how to add that, but it's a block normally where you would add your code in, which you would get from this widget code. Depending on where you create your site, the way to add the widget may be different. It may be added on different places, but um, the result should be the same. I mean, it should all reflect the widget itself, like this one here and it works the same way as the others do you click it and it takes you to the request to button there once you've completed that you would need this link where your widget is at and add it in on the properties page in here once you've completed you'd add your valid url there's no valid url sorry edit property url and paste it in there which of course this is not the one that I have, but you'll paste it in there and it will read the information from the widget if it's actual, if it's live, if it's updated, if it's a new one, and ensure that you will receive all your bookings and also connect you to Google Vacation Rental results as you receive those and once that's ready for you. There. I hope I was able to cover everything that you need for your self-hosted site. If you have any questions, always reach us at support at hospitable.com. We're going to be happy to help you out in there. And I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you. Bye.